Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John Matthew. In this video, we are going to discuss about type 2 cones. And just like type 2 in cylinder, in this type 2 cone, we will be given the guiding curve and the generating line. And in the last video, we learned about the generating line of a cone. And I told you how it differs from the generating line of a cylinder. Here, the generating line will pass through the vertex. Look, it passes through the vertex. And of course, of course, it will touch the guiding curve. And if you collect all the generating lines that pass through that point, that is our vertex, and touch the guiding curve, then we end up with the cone. See? Are you able to see all the generating lines? There are infinite generating lines and if you look at that together, you see the cone. Now, the method is something similar to what we did in cylinder. So what we do is, first of all, uh, we assume the direction cosines to be LMN. If you want, you can use the direction ratios, no problem with that. Anyway, uh, like what you call, uh, you can use direction cosines or direction ratios as you wish. Okay. Anyway, I am going for direction cosines. Uh, okay. So what you do is you assume the direction cosines to be L, M, N. And now look at this. Um, the generating line passes through the vertex, right? So immediately you will be able to write the equation of the generating line. And just like in cylinder, you write the equation in parametric form. What will you do? How will you write it? We will write it in parametric form. And parametric form means we are able to access every point on the line. And of course, you can see that at some value of t, it will balance the equation of the guiding curve. So we plug it into the, uh, what you call, guiding curve. And then the usual process, eliminate the quantities which you introduced. So first of all, we will, uh, we will eliminate or destroy or uh, what you call, get rid of our parameter t. And then we get rid of the direction cosines l, m, n. And that is it. You will get the equation. So let's start. So please write the first question. Find the equation of a cone with vertex... 4 comma 1 comma 5 and guiding curve or base you can use both the words the ellipse x square plus 4 y square is equal to 1 said equal to okay so what we do is we go for the rough picture so like in cylinder I told you the base is an ellipse but it is not in the xy plane, but a plane parallel to the xy plane, but two units high. So anyway, we have an ellipse as the base. And I think you can see the axis of this, uh, what you call, cone. And we have the vertex. The coordinates of the vertex are given by 4, 1, 5. And the cylinder kind of like looks like this. So this is the generating line. So, start like this. Let the direction cosines, once more let me comfort you, you can use direction ratios or cosines as you wish. Okay, let the direction cosines be L, M, N. Now what, we, what do you do? You write the equation of the generating line. That will be X minus 4 by L, Y minus 1 by M, Z minus 5 by N is equal to T. But, but, wait a minute. We want the equation in parametric form. So, that will be X equal to 4 plus L into T. Y is equal to 1 plus M into T. Z equal to 5 plus N into T. You can call it equation number 1. Now look at this. What will we do? We will plug in the parametric form into the guiding curve. Are you, are you able to see the guiding curve? So the guiding curve is x square plus 4 y square equal to 1. And 
what you call said equal to it will read it together so the x value is 4 plus lt the whole square plus 4 times y value is 1 plus mt the whole square is equal to 1 by the way this is not the end of the equation the equation goes along z that means 5 plus n into t is equal to 2 so that's it now we got the relation now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to get rid of the parameter and it's very easy you find the t value from so nt will be 2 minus 5 that will be minus 3 divided by n now we can plug in the t value over here so we get the equation as so tell me what will happen to, yeah so we get 4 minus Mm, that will be L into 3 so L by N and 3 here and here 1 minus is equal to 1 okay now one more thing to do in all the problems that they give in your exam you will be able to see L by N M by N N by L L by M etc etc and it's very very easy to get rid of it all you have to do is you have to tell me the value of L from this equation Okay, no need to find L, you just tell me what is L into T. Well, L into T is X minus 4. M into T is Y minus 1. And N into T is Z minus 5. Yeah, if you want, you can extract L, but this will be much easier. So look at this. You want L by N. So for that purpose, I am going to divide the first and the last. So what is LT by NT? The value of LT is X minus 4. Value of NT is Z minus 5. So cut cut. You will get uh, X minus 4 by Z minus 5. Now I want M by N. And for that purpose I am going to divide second by third. So MT by NT is equal to Y minus 1 by Z minus 5. So M by N will be this thing so we get the equation 4 minus 3 into x minus 4 by z minus 5 the whole square plus 4 into 1 minus 3 times y minus 1 by z minus 5 the whole square equal to 1 and afterwards you can simplify this a little bit like take LCM so we get 4 into z minus 5 minus 3 into x minus 4 the whole divided by z minus 5 the whole square plus etc etc and you're all bachelor students so i trust uh, you'll be able to simplify the remaining part okay let's do one more problem and make the concept a little bit more clear okay the question goes like this find the equation of a cone with vertex alpha beta gamma and base or guiding curve x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 comma z equal to 0 okay so what do we do we draw the guiding curve we take the vertex and we draw the one of the generating line so the vertex is given by alpha beta gamma now how should we start okay great how do you start let the direction cosines of the generating line be l m n once more let me comfort you if you want you can start with direction ratios but by the way they have already used a and b for some other purpose that is to define the ellipse they have used a and b so if you are going for the direction ratio method, assume the direction ratios to be A dash, B dash, C dash. Okay. Anyway, let's start. Let the direction cosines be L, M, N. So what is the equation of one of the generating lines? X minus alpha by L equal to Y minus beta by M is equal to Z minus gamma by N is equal to T. That is x equal to alpha plus L into T. 
y is equal to beta plus m into t z equal to gamma plus n into t now what we do is uh, we are going to take this x and y values and plug it over here so the required equation becomes okay tell me alpha plus l into t the whole square by a square plus beta plus l into sorry m into t the whole square by b square equal to 1 put a comma and write gamma plus n into t is equal to 0 now what do we do first we get rid of the parameter so the t value will be minus gamma by n plug it here so 1 by a square look at this i'm going to write this a by b as look at this a by b can be written as 1 by b into a so i'm going to write this as 1 by a square and in bracket l plus t i'm going to so that will be minus l gamma by n the whole square plus 1 by b square beta minus this will be alpha please correct it it will be alpha okay beta minus m gamma by n the whole square is equal to 1 now what do we do at the last we get rid of this l m n and like i promised in the last question are you able to see l by n yeah so what do we do we find l into t from the first one which is x minus alpha m into t from the second one which is y minus beta and n into t from the second the, the last one that will be z minus gamma now divide first and last because we need l by n so we get x minus alpha by z minus gamma so 1 by a square alpha minus what is l by n i hope you understood i'm skipping the steps x minus alpha by z minus gamma into gamma plus 1 by b square beta minus what do we need here m by n m by n means second by third see mt by nt and that will be y minus beta by z minus gamma into gamma the whole square equal to 1 now take lcm simplify that's it okay now to boost your confidence um, what you call i want you to do one more question so i'll leave that question here you can try it and comment whether you are able to do it or not okay find the equation of a cone with vertex 1 1 0 and guiding curve y equal to 0 comma x square plus z square equal to 4 okay I'll just explain this curve can you see this is a circle I'm sure that in class 11 you learned that x square plus y square equal to a square is a circle with center origin radius a but there is a difference here it is not given x square plus y square it's given x square plus z square so you have to imagine a circle on the which plane x z plane or rather let's put it like this our x y plane is the floor in your room our y z plane will be one of the walls in your room so this is a circle on the wall okay anyway that doesn't matter you can try it and if you understand this video um, please like share subscribe everything so I'll be back with another video very soon. So till then, my friends, bye.